Okay, Derek with Luminex. I just killed the, this ball face hornet's nest. And all we got left now are the foraging workers. The ones coming back and trying to be determined to get back. And there could be in there. It could be like 30. If it's in there, they're out coming out dying now. They're so determined to do their job. They even know which apartment they're in, which tier they're in. I bet you there's probably five tiers in there, 500 bees. And uh, they're just dropping down dead now. As they're going in there, coming back from the wild, they had no idea they'd been sabotaged. And they're determined to go do their job, and it's like they're infected. And uh, this is safe for humans and pets and everything like that, and for the environment, because this is a con controlled method of, and quick controlled method of, uh, where there's no dripping, uh, residual left, it's a, it's a natural base. Insecticides registered for outdoor use. So. You know, when I, I gotta make sure my, my sprayer's not kinked up. I'm getting like really close to it now. So that's a good sign. Usually when, the, when it's lower, usually when it's a little lower, like eye level, they'll, they'll come after me. They were coming after me in the beginning when I first investigated. When they tell you there's a nest somewhere, you ask where first, because I had to creep on this side. I kind of just peeked my head around the corner, because it's, it's up there. And I knew, like, just to peek my head, not walk back there. And sure enough, I kind of stood there for about five seconds, and one came my way and went around. I don't know if it came after me, but it was not, that's not the line of direction they usually go. And I ran. I wasn't even protected. Should be protected when you come and do a job, but I wanted to investigate first. But, uh, so I'm going to spray. Maybe I could do this even holding the camera. I can use my JD9. Do a nice coating. It's like you gotta paint it, watch it dry, coat it again. Do it from different angles. So these won't be able to hone in like the source. That's a high power right there. That's about, I put that up to about 40 pounds PSI. You can do different, uh, you can do like a pen stream. Look at that. This can shoot up way up in there. Look how high that can go. See some of these center hall colonials. Kind of loosen it up, you know. Get these foraging bees. And that, well, knockdown's rather quick on them. But it does get them active. That's why when you try to spray anything, even with the strong stuff, they got their wits about them. They can still come after you. You know. And they, they still have time to build another nest. You want to catch them by surprise. I filled that up with dust. My bee duster killed off all the queens. And all that are left right now are the workers. The worker drones. They can sting. I'm going to loosen this up so I can get, get to it with my spade bit and, uh, and uh, knock it down. Oop, there's comes one after me. I'm going to kind of get around the area, around the window frame. You gotta be careful with the grill, you know, they should have had that covered, but I can work around it. It's almost like an emergency. I just kind of work around it, I'm safe. I safely apply it. You want to hit the surface. They like this side of the house. I'm just kind of get up here a little bit. And I'm going to get to hit the rest of this house. Uh, see if I can do this with the guy I was watching here. Kind of get some residual out of gutters. No company does it this way. No company does it this way. They use like a backpack sprayer or a can sprayer and they just hit that nest. They usually hit the nest, come back in a few days, call us when you don't see any more bees. And then you're left hanging thinking like, you know, on the weekend you're like left hanging thinking, you know, maybe you're safe, you don't know, you're scared. You call me, it's done. Before I leave, no more bees. So, oh, so this pen stream here, this will go up like 20 feet high. And with no, uh, if there's no wind, you can go up like 35 feet high if you jack up the pressure. Once you got like five or 10 of wind, 10 degree, uh, 10 uh, miles wind, you can't spray up because of the drift. It'll carry it to a non targeted area. You want to keep everything targeted. With the spraying application, so that's, 
This will be good. Tree a little bit of the bushes along this side. They're attracted to, you know, maybe they could make a nest on this side. They like this side of the house because it probably has, in the morning, there's sun, warm up the nest, and then the high noon and afternoon, and the shade. There's like proper shade. So houses like these can get bees every single year. I'll try to tell them, you know. And what we got up here, we got up here, those are called carpenter bees, but they didn't call me for that. I'll let them know, but at this point, people are on a budget, and uh, they don't seem to be bothered by it. And what you got up here, they're carpenter bees, but they didn't call me for that situation. I'm going to leave that alone and see if there's any emerging bees, because I don't want to disturb them. Once you do a bee, carpenter bee treatment, you don't want to just spray the surface. You can end up driving them into the attic. I want to do, when I do a carpenter bee surface, I like to use my bee duster and coat that with the uh, dust and eliminate them, patch up the holes. You don't want to just spray it. And you'll have bees in the house. I'm going to hit this one more time before I try to attempt to take it off. Take it off from a distance and run. And I have to use this ladder too. Maybe you guys might come along for the ride. You guys can come along for the ride with me while I scrape the big part off. Because i got to use a little step ladder to get to it. Kind of coat that a little bit. And then, uh, you know, I'm going to go after him with my spade bit. And I want to get close. I'm going to go ahead and bring my tripod that was used, used for my camera. That was my cameraman. Let me see here. I put this... Uh, Put this one glove on. Put this right here. Put this one glove on here. Yeah, I'll put on two. Why not? It's so crazy, right? Yeah, this exterminators. We we think we were so good at our work. We just get a little lazy. Get a little lazy. That's how people get hurt, you know. You do it so many times, and you just skip steps, unnecessary steps, because you're no longer paranoid. Oh, look at all the egg uh, larvae in there. And it's, they look like eggs, but they pupate. They turn into cocoons. I got all that in there. It's like tears when I stacked on top of each other. Oh, there they go. Oh, they're going to come after me. So maybe if I can just get next to her. This is so hazardous here. That's why you shouldn't try to do it this year. It's just too hazardous. Look at that. The ground's not level. I can't get a, can't get a straight shot at it. I'm just going to kind of go at it real quick. Oh, one trick. Look at that. I knocked off. It's like a band-aid. Step away from it a little bit, you know? That thing's as good as dead. It's already shot. As soon as I scrape this off. Oh, no. So I can try. I gotta get a good... I gotta get a good dig at that. Oh, it's on the light. It's on a light fixture. That's why it's like, it's on a light fixture. Oh, look at the tears. There's the, there's the meat of it right there. Yeah. You can see them right here. Yeah, look at that. What's for breakfast, right? I'll put this aside. I think like half of them already like hatched already. I'm gonna take some of this off. Oh, it's right on. It's like right in the uh, light. <laughs> I had no idea. Oh, man, they probably couldn't even see it. Like all of a sudden it's dark. Hey, hey, where's the light? There we go. I'm gonna remove the nest. Ah, I wonder how I'm gonna scrape this off. Hopefully there's no electric. So. See if I can get to the, uh, the broom. I'm wearing protection, but I don't want to handle these. You grab right a hold of me and start stinging. You got long, nasty stingers. Uh, I might not. I won't be able to. I won't be able to clean all that. It's like a light there. 
a light fixture. I didn't even know there was one there. It's like broken. It's hanging there. Hmm. I'm sure there's no electric there. <laughs> oh, 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 that was a thing. Bounced right off this phone. Holy cow. It dive bombed me. <laughs> it's awesome. Spray the sucker. There we go. That should be it, really. I mean, it's a matter of opinion how clean that's got to be. So, hey, I took the nest down. You're set. Yeah, no more bees. And the rest you could just scrub off, you know, with electrical there. That's, that's on them, you know. I try the best I can, but you can't just... You can't just... You can't just start scrubbing at it. It looks easy from here, don't it? Like a pinata. Oh yeah. They probably go right in that. They go right in there. Right in that attic space. I asked them if they see any bees in there. And they said no. I don't know. Looks like a birdhouse almost, huh? That's thing. That's why you really knew. I need to make sure, keep, make sure, like, check your house and seal up all the holes. Is this what happens, right? That's what happens, right? And now what? You can't call an electrician. You can't call an electrician with this situation. You know? He's not going to touch this. Maybe that's why they got to use me. I have a feeling this mess was here a year ago. <laughs> and I just got around to it. Oh! Hey, how much of me? There we go. I think that should be good. The mess is gone. I was telling me I gotta... Oh! I gotta be like ninja. Oh! Oh! There's one flying around. <laughs> Enough to get away. Enough to get. Oh! Enough to get away. Oh! <laughs> Tell me. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. Wouldn't be doing this. Perfection. I like to be. That's perfection in your craft, but you can't be perfect. I hit this one more time and I'll be done. Be ready to clean up. Go to the next job. Hit that with the water hose. Make sure there's no power going to that light. And seal up the hole. And I'll be done. And I'll be done. I don't want to have to come back. I won't be back until next year. As long as they fix that, then the bees won't come back to that spot. This is, these are spots that you gotta watch out for. These vents, you should really put screens on them. Here's another vent. Make sure you got screens on your windows and your basement windows, and you'll be good. And then uh, here's this dangerous situation. You could come right in, you go on vacation, and you leave your you leave this setup here, and it's not sealed off. You could have bees in your house when they come back. It really depends. Well, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna finish this video now. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.